To the inside of the arm, okay, as we're attacking the nerves, that automatically weakens the hand and it already sensitizes the body. Okay, now as I'm coming in to grab the arm right in through here, I'm going to come across. Now, it was explained uh, by Mr. Durdarian that you could come across with the palm of the elbow, right in the back of the jaw, you could rake back and then go for the eye attack as well. Now, I'm going to explain one, but I'm not going to do this one. Okay, as he comes in with here, if I've come across here and it didn't get the person unconscious as I, I missed my target for some reason, maybe slipped away, who knows what happened. If I could grab his chin and just yank it quick, that can cause the dizziness too because of the attack on the RAS, so the reticular activating system and the consciousness monitor of the body. But I'm not going to do that because you can cause whiplash. So as I come across with this, I'm going to attack with the palm. I could do the elbow, but again, pretty brutal attack for just a filming uh, demonstration. So what I'm going to be doing is right on the back of the jaw, you have the facial nerve, and it comes out more, much like a, uh, a, a branch system or a root system of a tree. So again, as the punch comes in, stimulates it just a little hit right there, and you can see that that is quite dizzying, and you can get the person down. We've seen this on several DVDs. You okay? Yeah. What did that feel like? Uh, I took the legs right out. I felt them shoot up right out of my ass. Did you get a white flash or a dark flash? What? What? Okay, so again, all nerve. And you can see I, I, I just lightly brushed that. If I had hit that or double hit it, that would cause even more damage. Now there's a lot of the, uh, uh, the fallacy out there that if you hit five pressure points you can kill and all this stuff. And yeah, you, of course you can kill with it, but you can kill with anything. I mean, you punch the guy in the chest and the guy's got a weak heart, he can go down. Okay, so there's no way of saying that this is directly linked. But this here, setting up the neck for a follow-up shot to dislocate the neck, could cause sort of major damage. So uh, we stayed away from the elbow. Okay, just a palm shot right on the back of the jaw is enough to incapacitate.